I'm not seeking perfection. I'm not seeking some eternal bliss. I'm not seeking um, some fantastic spiritual experience or powers or wisdom or insight. My concern is entirely to be a friend of God. I am a child of God. What he has for me is better than anything I could possibly imagine. And I trust that he is both able and loves me. Do you see, I'm not seeking... I mean, have you noticed that the modern spirituality obsessed with meditation and practice and so on? It's not my goal. I mean, it may be helpful in living here, but it's not my goal. It's a goal that you can have if Well, basically, you're not concerned about God. You just want to be perfect and have these amazing powers and eternal bliss and so on. Or, or even, as it's often pictured, to merge with the infinite. But do you see, the infinite is something that's far more than human. But we are children of God. We are of the same substance, therefore, the same genetic type of material. He has a perfect, wonderful future for us. It's not something I have to work for, slave to, But certainly, I mean, value it and realize it's more important than anything else. Do you see it's a, it's diametrically different to what the 21st century has moved into as regards New Age spirituality. It's a spirituality without the personal God, our Heavenly Dad. It's not seeing God in that way. It might use words like divine or absolute or all something or other. not a person as we relate to persons, more a state of being. God is far more than that. He's fantastic and you and I, in a sense, will be fantastic, but actually in a sense are already fantastic. We are persons as he is a person. That's what I value. It's 
So I'm not straining to practice to meditate in the right way. Sure, if I eat the right things, I live longer, and if I meditate, I might be more calm and cope with the problems of life to some extent. But nothing like I cope when I have the assurance of the love of God. There's nothing left to cope with, in fact, in the purity of such. Let me see where I've got to with this recording. You see, I'm not trying to get rid of self. I am not annihilating self. I'm in the process of developing into a perfect self in terms of this transitory world. It's a place of incredible learning, not a place of annihilation and destruction and complete evaporation, merged into the void. But on the contrary, the extraordinary complexity of what a person means spiritually and complete, perfected, if you like, as God but different, able to be a perfect friend to him, you and I. That's our destiny. You can hunger after these other things like the current view of spirituality, but only to get them out of your system and realize that that's not what you really value. Oh yeah, it might be fun for a while, but it's not the same as being part of the heavenly host. You may say, well, it's based on Eastern religion in large measure. So yeah, and they got it wrong. I mean, in some sense, the Jesus story is superior. It's far easier and simpler. All you have to do is recognize that you're a child of God. He's your dad. That's the foundation. You don't sit and meditate n hours a day for n years. You don't do difficult exercises or visualizations or... It's not a practice. It's a being, yes. But the being is the becoming of the wonderfully human, which in spiritual terms is of the genes of God, spiritual genes, if you like. In that sense, we're of the same substance. And we'll have the same fantastic glory and grandeur that he has, in a sense. Part of his vast heavenly family. It's not something we do. hunger and thirst after loving God that's what you get if you hunger and thirst after other things that's what you get so that you learn it's not what you really want after all 
only God can satisfy your true needs because you're a child of God, that's why everything else is inferior. Come that you might have life and have it more abundantly, life eternal. In my Father's house are many mansions. And you can abide in them. But you need to be with him. Ultimately. 